go to that place and ask for something. It's not only um, that you have to offer something. Um, second, uh, uh, the purpose of this is, of course, um, coordination. So I have a project idea, this very cool idea. I want to digitize all the books in the world. Um, we can be a German has this, I mean, it doesn't, it's just an example, might have this idea at some point. And Wikimedia Poland might have this idea at some point. So without any coordination, we might just have two projects trying to digitize all the books in the world, which is kind of not really effective. Um, so um, this is also a means for coordinating chapters projects. Then of course, inspiration. So um, if you have an organization and you think, how can I reach out to my volunteers? What is a, a good idea? Um, and there's, um, you, you go to the Chapters Exchange page and you see that other um, organizations offer um, experience in, um, I don't know, photo events. Then you can just approach them and say, how did you do that? And do you have any learnings? How can we do it better? Um, and you can also see what other projects are there, what experience is there. Maybe it's a source of inspiration. And of course, also, it raises awareness uh, for the projects and, and especially for the needs that we have within the organizational world. And um, as I said before, that's similar to the coordination uh, part, of course, the application. So, um, if a chapter is already, if some organization is already offering some service, um, there's no need for, there might not necessarily be a need for another organization to offer the same kind of service. Maybe they just might want to, offer, to dedicate their time to something else. As Mikhail said uh, before, um, a lot of chapters, um, and I hope most or even all organizations, do have. Um, do have to care a lot on how and what they spend their resources on. So and I don't think within the movement there's any organization that has resources just to you know give away. Um, so we always need a reason for that, and we we always need to try to be more effective with our time with. Okay, so what does it look like? Um, this is basically a page on Meta as of now. Um, this is not totally very sophisticated. It's just a table, and you can add what you have to offer, or add what you want to, what, what you're looking for. Um, in the first place, we thought about setting up a uh, another piece of software, and, and you know, make it big scale. Um, but um, I think it's just a reasonable approach to have a natural growth. So if we, um, at some time figure that this is getting too big, too complicated, it is not um, useful anymore, we might switch to something else. Um, actually, um, I'm thinking about something like um, uh, a question and answer software. Um, uh, I'm missing the name. Um, so question and answer software is like you put a question somewhere, and uh, you, you have answers, and these answers can be rated. Um, and this is also a good idea. You can use that for more complicated um, kinds of exchange and, and, and interchange. Um, currently, we have three sections on the chapters exchange. One is knowledge exchange, um, basically sharing experiences. Um, then we have service exchange, that's some chapters offering something to other chapters or seeking some services. And um, on the the very bottom of this page that we can find a um, peer review section because we feel that um, the idea of peer review, of finding peer reviews, of seeking peer reviews, so uh, important um, to, um, to the organization as well that uh, we gave it a section on its own instead of just putting it on the service. What can you put there? Um, as you see, we already have some entries. It's, it could be more, of course. Um, that's why I'm advertising it right now. Um, and, but it's, I try to pick out 
the examples and categorize them um, just give you an idea of what um, what you can put up there and sort of look for. So first of all, of course, I said it is uh, experiences. So we have, for example, uh, Wikimedia Switzerland. They did a digitalization project. Uh, digitalization project. Um, uh, I think it was some microscopic um, data, um, images, and they wanted to digitize them. They made some experiences, and now they have this experience. So if any other chapter at any time um, starts digitization, digitalizing things, um, they might just ask Wikimedia Switzerland to avoid the most common pitfalls because they already um, tried it. Um, there's also um, uh, a offer about sharing experiences on organizing events. Um, I guess a lot of chapters do have experience um, with organizing events. Um, so it might be particularly interesting if you have like a special kind of event. So in um, this morning, we heard about uh, the coolest chapter project uh, of the year, which is making pictures uh, from a play. And um, I think it was in Media Israel um, organizing this, so they know how to, to approach, um, how to do this, um, how did they do it, what were their learnings, if any other country, any other chapter wants to do, or organization wants to do a similar thing, um, you might ask them um, how, what, what their experience was. Then we have services. Um, Wikimedia Switzerland also offers IT support for small chapters. Um, they do um, a bit of web hosting for like very small um, home pages, and they also uh, provide you support uh, when it comes to video conference. So um, I guess that is also a thing that um, not many people know that we have um, a video conferencing system that we can use within the organization, um, and Media Switzerland knows about. We have requests on that, so. Um, the thematic organization um, uh, of the LGBT um, uh, members of the movement, um, which is about to situate, um, they are looking for more case studies. So they have some case studies, but they want to have more about, I think, the, um, the, the treatment and the way um, uh, the people from the LGBT area act um, or are acted um, are active with uh, in the movement. Um, two things, we, one thing I didn't find up now is ideas. Um, so if you have a cool project idea and you feel that is not an idea you can just um, uh, uh, realize from within your own organization, then um, Chapters Exchange might be a good place to find other interested parties and to find a few organizations that join forces to realize that idea. Um, that also is true uh, in the case of uh, projects where you need an international scope. Um, for example, I know that there is um, the idea that um, uh, some Wikimedians take pictures of the European Parliament and the members of the European Parliament. This, of course, would be much better if it was supported by more chapters than only one national chapter, um, because um, it needs different languages to speak to the people with it. It needs um, uh, points of contact um, and, um, uh, and, 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 um, and of course, the last thing, um, he help. So again, um, I think we can put up um, requests and offers for peer reviews. Um, which, yeah, peer reviews of any kind that is. So um, I will talk about that on Sunday, uh, but just a, a small bit. When I'm talking about peer reviews, I'm not only thinking about uh, one organization peer reviewing the whole of the other organization within like three days or four weeks or whatever, but also if you have like a small grants application and you want to have, have it double checked by someone else, that's also a peer review, and I find um, we, um, we should also establish an um, atmosphere of um, or climate of peer reviewing each other's um, applications uh, or strategies sheets in this way. Would you need to put anything on the chapters exchange? 
Um, it's not so hard. Um, you need uh, the name of the affiliation, um, the exchange you have proposed, that's a description of what you're looking for, what you can offer. Um, it is reasonable to have a contact uh, um, address like an email, of course, um, so we can get in touch with you. And um, if you have any remarks, there's uh, also um, comments on, on there. You can participate. Um, everyone with interest in organization works, so this is not restricted to like, officials, this is not restricted to people that come from countries outside, I don't know, from European countries or something. Um, it's basically everyone um, with uh, an interest in the work of media organizations. Um, of course, the target audience is, is somewhat is the professional um, world, so the, the institutionalized world um, within uh, the media movement that is chapters and thematic organizations. Um, I guess also user groups. Um, I did not put them on there because, um, as I said, it's targeting the um, higher, higher level and that's not meant in a um, better or worse uh, kind of sense, the, the higher level of organization you know, um, development. Um, of course, and here we are for the advertising, um, it's more work than you might uh, initially think to run a um, chapters exchange. It's not only a page, um, and volunteers are always very welcome. Uh, volunteers that are um, interested in helping um, in this kind of inter-chapter, inter-organizational um, exchange. So what um, are we looking for? What are tasks that need to be done? First of all, of course, the page needs to be watched. If somebody puts up a new entry, um, other people need to realize that. Um, we also advise you, if you put something up, um, just uh, write um, a mail on the um, chapters list of Wikimania L, Wikimedia L, I'm sorry, um, just to raise a bit of awareness for them. Um, of course, we need, a, we will need a network of contact persons in the future. So when, um, the, the task um, I have in mind is that when there is a, a request um, coming up or an offer um, that people maybe from the WCA may be interested in the organization board will um, raise the networks and distribute this. So it's also like a way of informal and the network distribution of those ideas. Um, it is also reasonable to skim mailing lists for requests and put them on the exchange um, to uh, um, perpetuate them. So mailing lists are very short term and short living. Um, if we might have some requests that um, are there for longer time, so um, we can put them on the chapters exchange. And then, of course, uh, get these requests and offers to other languages, so translate them. Um, there is, of course, a huge Spanish-speaking community uh, out there. Um, there are um, uh, the speakers of the Eastern languages there, of course, huge um, Chinese-speaking uh, community in its various forms, and of course any other language. Um, and um, I think in in this um, in this area we are working at with the chapters exchange, you cannot necessarily assume that all the people active in the chapter are also literate in English as much as people are that are sitting here or um, are active in the international kind of work. So um, translating these requests um, might also be a good way to get ideas trans uh, transmitted to other um, cultural areas, to other language areas. So how do I get there? How do you get there? Um, the easiest thing is go to Meta and search for chapters exchange. Um, another easy way is to ask me, um, and the harder way is to type that URL um, I put up there. Okay, um, do you have any remarks, any questions? Do you think that's a 
reasonable thing to set up and to put some work in. Yes, please. Um, I wanted to ask you if you got any contact or, uh, or had learned anything about your book. So uh, I'm already working in a system of information interchange and doing stuff together in several chapters in America and some of the European. I mean, not to, I think it's a good initiative, but uh, I think we have to learn from the uh, um, So the question, did you understand that? Um, the question was, there is already an initiative by the Jericho from the Spanish-speaking chapters, uh, Latin um, Spanish-speaking chapters. Um, am I aware of this? And um, did I learn from this? Actually, I'm not aware. And this is just the case for something like this. Um, I'm not, it's not meant to be a, um, like to pose you, but maybe we just want to join forces. Um, and that would be a successful case of interchange and collaboration, right? Uh, imagine I have in my chapter in the Netherlands, I feel a board meeting on the weekend, and I would like that one day, someone from abroad who knows about chapters comes to us uh, with a uh, the quit, we pay some uh, pocket money uh, and so on, a uh, nice hotel and so on, and the person will teach us, train us, tell us something that's useful for us. So in such a case, I go to this page, chapters exchange of meta, and then I see a list of people who are offering themselves, and then I take just anyone who seems to live with the ability and that would be a good idea to do, or should I first send an email to you and ask you, well, do you know the person? Are there any references? Uh, can he prove that he's experienced? And, and are there um, what other people said about him, for example? I know, where, I know where you're getting it. Um, so first, the short answer is the less work I have, the better. The um, long answer is um, this is not meant to certify services. Um, as of now, we don't have, I, I mean, I'm happy when organizations put up their services, people put up their services, and um, I'm not uh, turning um, people away. If we have so many offers and we see the quality of offers increasing, um, I know there are uh, several initiatives of um, uh, organizations that want to have some certification uh, for like trainers, for speakers. Um, and I don't think that's a genuine um, task of Genesis Exchange, but that would be a, um, a separate initiative that might just you know, co work with Yes, please. Um, I just want to. Ask something in terms of the chapters exchange. By the way, I'm Dumisani from uh, Wikimedia South Africa. The idea of chapters exchange is a noble one. However, what I've seen happen is that uh, most big chapters sit and uh, say, well, if small chapters want help, they must come and ask for it. And uh, I haven't seen, maybe I'm being ignorant, but I haven't seen big chapters going out and, uh, and uh, maybe even encouraging formative groups, especially in Africa where chapters are being formed, where groups are trying to set up chapters to get recognized. What, uh, what, what, uh, what would you say is um, stopping or discouraging big chapters to do that? Yeah, so um, he said that, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so the question is, uh, there's a lot of um, big chapters that have resources, but they're waiting for the smaller chapters to ask for these, for, for help, instead of just approaching them and, and, and offering help. Um, is there, uh, and, and he asks, why is that so? And is there um, a way to change this? Is that? That's correct. Um, okay. 
Um, but also, um, I don't think I really can answer that question. I guess there's various reasons. Um, actually, yesterday someone told me, and that was in relation to the WCA, um, within this movement, it's very rare so that somebody comes to you and says, I want to give you something. It's a movement where you have to ask. So um, even when the, we as the WCA want to set up something, and um, there were a lot of big chapters behind that, we had to ask for everything. Um, there, were no, there was no one just coming to us and saying, here's this or help or whatever. Um, so um, I guess it's just, that's one part of the answer most likely, that's the positive part. Um, it's, it's a cultural thing. Um, and um, I guess it's also a thing of awareness, and, and that's where um, I think your, your question becomes a bit you know, critical. Um, uh, is this is still the case that, um, of course, um, we might need more day-to-day, -day, give to, need, give to uh, more day-to-day -day awareness to small chapters, to the um, um, global south as it's labeled and, and, and such. Um, what can chapters exchange do? Um, actually, in the first stage, I don't think we do have any resources to actively approach people. Um, and it, it's more like an awareness raiser. But as I put here, of course, we are looking for people with networks. And um, it's also like, um, I think there, is, there are some offers from the big chapters to um, um, go, for example, to peer review um, the strategy, the, the, the development plan of smaller chapters. Um, but it's not that these offers are really uh, pushed in an um, yeah, uh, outgoing way. So um, if we would manage to gather a group with a big network around such a page and, and um, such an exchange, and there would be um, an offer uh, uh, that you know, maybe big chapters help small chapters, then that might go through the networks and then reach you in a more active way. So maybe that's kind of nice. Okay. So yeah, my time is up, and um, thank you.